you guys i hope you guys are having a nice time out there on today's video on the mbs naja youtube channel today we'll be talking about i'll be talking about the organ of kuti okay uh, we'll be talking about the organ of kuti and um for summary's sake this is just for you to know that the organ of kuti is an organ that is found in the air and it's, it's very important okay i know that the organ of kuti is found in the cochlear duct i think so maybe i forgot all right so uh, without wasting time guys uh, let's proceed to uh the main um uh, goal of the day i think let me um repair this so that it's not blocking up the screen okay so move um First of all, I told you that the organ of Kuti is found in the air. All right, so uh, before we uh, talk about the air, uh, we'll just talk about. Um, okay, sorry. Before we talk about the organ of Kuti, we'll just talk about the anatomy of the air briefly. All right, so uh, what is the anatomy of the air? Uh, we said, uh, um, let's talk about the pina. Uh, the pinna is the external air that we can see and it collects sounds from the environment and uh, the pinna is the external air uh, that we can see and it collects sounds from the environment okay uh what about uh, the tympanic membrane uh we say that uh the eardrum which vibrates uh, when stimulated by sound waves okay that's the tympanic um membrane it vibrates when stimulated by sound waves. And what about the ossicles? Uh, we say that uh, the ossicles, these are bones of the middle ear, and they transmit vibration from the middle uh, brain to the cochlea. Okay, the ossicles are uh, bones of the uh, bones of the middle ear, and they transfer uh, vibrations from the middle uh, from the midbrain to the cochlea. All right. So now, what are the ossicles? The ossicles, uh, the the mnemonics I use for the ossicles is um is M I S. Uh, the M is malus. Uh, the I is um incus, and the S is tips. Okay. Now let's talk about the cochlea. Uh, that's where you found the organ of Kuti. Uh, the cochlea is a snail-shaped, fluid-filled, um, bony structure of the inner ear, and it contains the basilar membrane and the auditory uh receptive air cells okay how about the oval window um the oval window is an opening in the bone of the cochlea that, that reveals a membrane against which uh, the base plate of the steps uh, presses all right it transmits uh, sound vibration into the fluid field cochlea okay now the next uh this next one is an image that has shown almost everything that we have spoken about first of all uh, this is the bone of the inner ear okay you see the malleus here you see the steps you see the incus okay sorry malleus you see the steps you see the incus okay uh, you see the pinna this is the outer ear you see the air canal uh, you see the tympanic membrane this is our uh, beginning of the inner ear okay you see the round window uh, we say that it's, it's, it's an opening on the cochlea okay i see the uh you see the eustachian tube uh, you see the vestibule, you see the cochlea, uh, you see the auditory nerve, and everything. Okay. If you like to study this image uh, better, you could just um, pause our video to like and get to study the image to how you want it. Okay. All right. How about the spiral chambers? Um, the cochlea contains um, three spiral chambers. Okay. Uh, first chamber is the scalar vestibuli. Uh, this is the chamber that contains a round window and um, secondly is the scala media this is where the organ of kuti is found okay and this organ of kuti that we are talking about is found in the scala media and what about uh, the scala tympani and uh, sorry it is not scale it is scala okay and the scala tympani contains the oval window the scala tympani contains the oval window okay and this is uh, the the image and uh, you could see the resonance and membrane here you could see the scalar vestibuli uh, you could see the scalar media um, where we have the organ of kuti and uh, you could see the um, scalar um, tympani you could see the scalar tympani 
right there okay uh, you can see the basilar membrane too okay progressing i would say that uh, the organ of cutie is a receptive organ that generates nerve impulses in response and to vibration of the basilar membrane uh, it lies on the surface of the basilar fibers and basilar membrane okay um the organ of cutie is a receptive organ let me let, let me just go over again um the organ of cutie is a receptive organ uh, that generates a nerve impulses in response to the vibration of the basilar membrane and it lies on the surface of the basilar fibers and basilar membrane uh, it consists of supporting cells and specialized type of nerve cells called hair cells and which are of two types the hair cells are of two types okay uh, a single uh, a single row of inner hair cells and uh, this is numbering about um, three five and measuring about um, 12 micrometers in diameter okay and a three or four rows of the outer hair cells uh, this is numbering about 12,000 and measuring about eight micrometers and protruding from the each don't worry don't worry we'll get to see the images and everything okay um, protruding from each Hair cell are the structures called uh, the stereocilia. Okay, uh, this font is not really clear, but what is here is the stereocilia, and the tectorial, uh, tectorial membrane lies above the stereocilia, uh, sharing motion between the BM and the tectorial membrane, and this causes uh, stereocilia to be displaced. Okay. All right, I think the, the next slide should be an image justifying everything that we have read here. Okay, um, the next slide should be an, um, an image justifying everything that we have read here. Okay, I think uh, the, the lights coming from outside is kind of making my clothes glow like I'm an angel, right? Uh, I'm not an angel, though. Now, let's talk about these inner cells that we said they have just one row. All right. Um, it's functioning to convert a BN mechanical movement into new, uh, neural activity. This is achieved in the following way. And the stereocilia are joined by fine link called tip links. Deflection of the stereocilia leads to the opening of the transduction channels. Okay. And that's deflection of the stereocilia. It leads to the opening of the transduction channels. And, and flow of potassium ions into the hair cell occurs due to voltage differences between the inside and the outside. If you are good with your physiology, you know that um, before ions flow, uh, there, might, uh, there must be a charge difference between the out, outer compartment and the inner compartment. Okay, we're making progress. Um, still talking about the inner hair cells. We say that the inner cell hair cells it causes the transmission of neurotransmitters and the initiation of action potential. This is like just trying to explain how um, the organ of Kuti uh, uh, receives um, sense uh, sense information. Okay. Now, um, um, action uh, potential uh, propagation is is in one direction and only down the length of the axon and. Um, most of the afferent and neurons make contact with the in, inner air cells. And possibly um, all information about the input and sound is conveyed via the inner hair cells. Now, talking about the outer hair cells, we say that they have a role in achieving high sensitive and sharp tuning. Okay. And most of the afferent um, neuron synapse directly with the outer hair cells. Uh, we said that most of the afferent synapse with the inner hair cells. So I, you guys are just getting this um, few differences that, that might be very good MCQ questions. Okay. Um, afferent neurons and carry information from higher auditory system to the cochlea. Okay. And afferent neurons carry information from the cochlea and to the higher auditory system. I hope you guys are following up. You know, uh, most anatomy videos, you don't just watch them once and leave them, okay? 
I used to get them, I would get to watch them like three times before you can like vibe along, you feel me? All right, so um, this is an image just justifying all that we have said in the previous uh, three slides, okay? And you can see the organ of Kuti, you see the basilar membrane, and you see the axons of auditory nerve, you see the inner hair cells, and you see the cilia of the hair cells, you see the tectorial membrane, you see the outer hair cells, okay? You see the scalar media, and you see the scalar vestibuli, and you see the scalar tympani. Okay, these are like a slice, yeah, slice through the cochlea, all right, slice through the cochlea. And you can see that in the scalar media is where the organ of cutie is located, and then this portion is like sliced out, then protruded here, all right. So I like you to like vibe a lot with uh, this picture. Vibe a lot to this picture. This is like a summary of everything that we have been talking about. Okay. And, and what is the excitation of the hair cells? Um, this is movement of the basilar membrane and pressing the hair cells against the tectorial membrane. Okay. Uh, deflection or bending of stereocilia in one direction um, depolarizes the hair cells. And bending in the opposite um, direction hyperpolarizes them. Okay, deflection or bending in, in one direction depolarize, and bending in the opposite direction hyperpolarize. Okay, this is getting to a point. Just follow up, and this in turn excites the auditory nerves. Just to tell you that before the auditory nerves are excited, there must be a process, and this process is bending on one side, bending on the other side. Okay. All right, um, this in turn excites the auditory nerve fibers and synapsing and with their base. Upward movement of the basilar uh, fibers uh, rocks the reticular lamina upward and inward towards the medullus. This causes the hairs on the hair cells to shed back and forth against the tectorial membrane and thus. The hair cells are excited whenever the basilar membrane vibrates. This is the whole thing here is just trying to talk about the excitation of the hair cells. And in summary, this is just for you to know that uh, the hair cells are excited through a vibration, okay? This is just to tell you that forward tossing, backward tossing, that's just to talk about vibration, okay? Now, let's talk about tuning. We said that 90% of the auditory nerve fibers are stimulated by the inner hair cells rather than the outer hair cells. Uh, it has been proposed that the outer hair cells in some way control the sensitivity of the inner hair cells at different sound pitches. This phenomenon is known as the tuning of the receptor system. In this phenomenon, a large uh, number of the retrograde nerve fibers pass from the brain stem to the vicinity of the outer hair cells. And stimulation of these nerve fibers can actually cause shortening of the outer hair cells and change their degree of stiffness, okay? This effect suggests retrograde nervous mechanism for control of the ears sensitivity to different sound pitches activated through the outer hair cells. Now, um, this picture kind of like, uh, summarize everything that we have been talking about vibration okay so uh, what are the events involved in hearing uh, you could say that the sound waves arrived at the tympanic membrane all uh, right from the external auditory meatus they arrive the tympanic membrane movement of the tympanic membrane causes displacement of the auditory ossicles okay this membrane will hit this one this one will hit this one this one will hit this one it's just like it's just like some things you do these days, you understand? This thing will lead to this one, this one will lead to this one, and that kind of thing. So, uh, movements of the steps at the overall windows uh, establishes and um, pressure waves in the perilymph of the vestibular duct, okay? Uh, the pressure waves are distort at the basilar membrane on the way to the round window of the tympanic duct, all right? A vibration of the basilar membrane causes vibration of the hair cells against the tectorial membrane. Okay.
I'm trying to do this. Ah, my forehead be shining like. I actually close my window after this um this video so that I can just uh, get myself film. Okay, so information about the region and the intensity of the stimulation is related to the CNS over the cochlear membrane. Okay, of the cranial nerve. What it? I would like you guys to just um follow, just be following these images as I was talking. Okay, because it will help a lot. Now moving to the last slide. The last slide, you know what is on the last slide? The last slide is thank you. Thank you so much for taking out time to be a difference in your generation. Um, thank you so much for taking out time to study. You know, studying is not easy. Feel me? Thank you so much for taking out time to try to find money the legitimate way by reading your books, okay? A lot of people are out there doing fraud and everything, but you take time um, to invest in your education. I want to say thank you, okay? So if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. As you can see, I'm a young guy and I would like to, rook, uh, I would like to um, run this channel till I die, till I die at the age of like 110. I'm just like 24. So we have over 80 years to be on this channel together. <laughs> so subscribe to my channel and thank you guys uh, for being part of this lecture. All right. So bye for now, guys.